What's up everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate the Gelato print on demand platform or website into your Shopify store. So you can basically list products on your Shopify store, design, make your own design and uh, print them or add them on a wide variety of products uh, uh, offered by Gelato, such as clothing, calendars, uh, phone cases, mugs, towels, you name it and uh, design, uh, put your design on the product as you can see in on these screenshots right here and then list the product on your Shopify store. And the great thing about the print on demand business model is that you don't have to have inventory or the physical product itself once you get an order. The great thing is that once you get an order, you can uh, print as you go or once you see or you receive the payment, the uh, item or the, your design will be printed on the product and will be shipped to your customer by demand. So you don't have to worry about getting uh, lots of items and saving them and stuff like that. So let's get right to the video. Now here, as you can see, this is the Gelato website. And if you scroll down, you can see some benefits, some uh like uh, features of the platform as well as some integrations with uh main some of the main e-commerce platforms such as shopify etsy woocommerce and others and some statistics numbers and so on and you can view here the their products their best sellers you have here some men's clothing types like t-shirts tank tops hoodies stuff like that women's clothing wall art hats phone cases mugs uh, bags uh, photo books and so much more now here, uh, if you go to your Shopify store, and as you can see, I'm on my Shopify store right here, you wanna search for the Gelato app and install it. So go here to search, search for Gelato, and then you should see, hit enter, and it should open the Shopify app store. And as you can see here, this is the Gelato print on demand. Click on it. And you wanna make sure this is the official one provided by Gelato themselves. Click on install. Then here, click on install once again. And you'll be redirected to the sign in page on Gelato where you can sign in with Google, Facebook or Apple or sign in with email and password. Or if you don't already have an account, click on sign up. So I'm going to go ahead and sign up as if I don't have an account just to show you the process. Click on sign up. Okay, sign up with Google, Facebook or Apple or with email. So I'm going to sign up with email. Here I need to enter my full name, my email and password and then accept the terms and conditions and I don't want to receive news and offers. You are free to uh, check this if you want to. Now I'm going to fill in all my details and then get back to you. And now once I filled in all my details and clicked on create an account, I need to verify my email address so I'm just going to go ahead to my inbox and click on the verification link. Okay and once I clicked on the verification email, I'm just redirected to this page where I'm asked some like uh, questions. Okay, what's your goal with Gelato? I'm just exploring, let's say just exploring. Uh, what of these describes you the most? Uh, okay, I am, I'd love to run a business, okay. Clothing, let's say clothing. How did you hear about us? Just say blog, okay, finish. So you can do this automatically uh, so that the orders are imported and the sent to production automatically or you can manually uh, approve each product once you get an order or and sorry and you can update or edit the product before approval. So for now I'll just go ahead with automatic create a new product. Now you want to choose the product that you want to print on or add your design on so let's uh, choose men's clothing okay t-shirts and now you have here uh, some types of t-shirts. Of course, you want to select here the best sellers. And here you have uh, any variants or colors for each one. And of course, the price should make a difference as well. And let's say I want to select this one. Now, the second step is to add your design. Okay, you can choose the base color and choose the sizes. Of course, I chose all the size variants. Now here you can go ahead and uh, add new layers if you want to and you can upload your files to upload your design from your computer, add text and see the personalized options. So you can personalize your products here in the editor or use the Shopify in-page personalization so that your customers can view and personalize the design on their product. Okay, and you can add uh, photos from Cherry Stock, you can add uh, shapes you can add different layouts if you wanted to add like more of on uh, more uh, than one design Let's use this layout here. I have three photos that I can add 
Now I'm go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and add a graphics. For example, you can add graphics if you want to. However, I'll just go to files and now uh, add files from my device, my computer. Let's add. Let's add this logo. Okay, and now let's drag it here. And let's add another photo from Shutterstock. Drag it. Okay, click on it. It'll be added. Okay, and once it's done adding, you can go ahead and drag it right here, for example. And let's add a shape or a graphic. And let's add this line, for example, here. Let's uh, add it. And you can add it here to separate or on top of the designs. Okay, make it like this. And let's go back to Shutterstock. Let's add another image. Okay, this more time, let's add this image. Okay, looking good. And you can go ahead and click on any of the elements to like rotate it, magnify it, uh, set it in the middle and uh, crop it and stuff like that. Okay, let's add it one more time. And once you are happy with your designs, you can continue to mock up. Okay, and you will get like a preview. And here you can try this feature for free with a free trial. So let's get a free trial, uh, $0 per month. Okay, continue. And here you will need to add your own like information, your uh, like name, your zip code, and uh, then continue to add your like credit card information. So I'm just going to go ahead and add all this information here. Company, how to simple. And, in, and then I'll add an address, a zip code, a phone, and it detects automatically detects my country and then add the city and the state so i'm going to fill in all my details here to continue and now you need to add a payment method uh, such as your credit card or paypal or payoneer if you want to however i'm just not going to do that for now okay so close it and let's go back to the shopify here okay and in the apps here let's go to gelato it'll open up my main dashboard here and my store is now active so it's automatically connected my Shopify store since I already installed the app on my Shopify store itself and now if I click on add product single product okay and then I'll go through the same process like men's clothing t-shirt okay I like this one and in the design okay let's go to files let's add this logo this photo that we added okay and then continue to mockups and here i can add the default mockup or the default look and i can add of course these mockups as well however they are only with gold plan so i'll need to uh, subscribe to a paid plan or get a free trial as i was showing you these steps for now let's settle for this basic one okay and now continue to details and here you can fill in all the details such as the title, the description here. They even generate a description for you. Let's add, uh, okay, I'll just leave the title as it is for now, the default. And attach the size label. Here they give you a size label. You can choose to detach them. So that's like a size chart so that the customer can choose the size uh, that they fit the most. And attach care instructions, imperial measurement systems, and then the uh, length or the uh, measurements for each size. And now change the settings for the product type and the vendor and all of that and now if you continue here you can edit the pricing in the last step so continue to prices and here you can set the prices for all the available variants so here the uh, all variants vary the size varies from uh, 1668 to uh, 2398 uh, cents and now here you can see the profit since the product cost itself is varies from like 834 from to 11.99 and the shipping cost is 457 so a total of like uh, $13 and stuff like that or 13 to 14 dollars and if you sell it with 16 you get like $8.34 a, as a profit now if you go higher of course you can set the price higher and even set it to 25 if you want to and as you can see here your profit is goes higher however i'll just set it for like 20 okay and 20 for the medium 20 dollars for the large and 20 dollars for the x large and for the 2x let's set it for 25 and then 30 dollars for the double x or the triple x 
k seems good of course you need to update your pricing depending on the type of print and the market average prices and many more factors now here once your product is ready you can click on update here to update the pricing it's now saving all the uh, progress that we made and then click on publish to add the product to your shopify store and as you can see here it's now publishing and this is the draft that we were editing before where, and i quit when in the payment like step and once this progress bar finishes and the product is now published which is now is let's go back to our uh, shopify uh, homepage right here and then go to products and as you can see the classic t-shirt crewneck t-shirt is now added so this is basically it that's how you do it and once a client opens up your shopify store and makes an order on this t-shirt uh, the order goes automatically to Gelato and they'll handle everything from printing your design on the t-shirt that you selected with the variant that you selected and the color and everything and they'll package the product and you'll ship it to your customer and you'll get the price difference as a profit. So that's how you can create and connect your Gelato platform to or Gelato account to your Shopify platform for print on demand.